Hello darlings, my name is Corley and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of a wrap up of this year's best makeup items. I just want to do a little disclaimer because I updated my computer to Mac Catalina. My The software I usually use to mirror my camera is um, not working. And so right now I'm filming blindly whereas I don't even know if I'm recording or if I'm in the center or if I'm in focus. I'm just hoping. Yeah, so today we're doing the best products of 2019, hands down. These are my favorites. So we're gonna do uh, just like a full rundown of every category and then we're gonna do some honorable mentions because I don't wanna be like redundant but there are like a lot of products that I did like. So we're gonna go through all of them. We're gonna swatch. We're gonna just give you everything that y'all need. And uh, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Usually when I start my makeup, I always start with brows. So I have two brow products here that have been my favorite. We're gonna start, this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade 380 Deep Brown. This is the brow pomade I use all the time. I absolutely love it. This is the one I use on my brows today. And um, it was kind of dry, so I put a little bit of oil in it because I saw Mace Norvina say, say that you could do that with Anastasia Deep Brow. So. Hopefully you can do that with Maybelline, but it's a really, really good one. Um, I know some people don't like it because it's a little waxy. I personally <laughs> love it. She's cute. We like her. Then I have the Benefit Gimme Brow Plus. This is the eyebrow gel in the shade 4.5. The color I actually use in Benefit Brow Products is to fill in my brows is the shade 6. But I love this because it's kind of lighter, so it lightens them, it gives them a little bit of dimension. Maybe, like, I don't know, it's just something I discovered this year, and this is a mini that I got in my Ipsy um, subscription. So uh, yeah, I haven't tried it all, but I've tried it enough to know that I do actually like it, so. You know what's good though about not having a monitor? I'm forced to look you dead in the camera <laughs> because there's nothing else I can look at. I tried to plop a mirror over there so I could kind of see, um, but let's be real, I don't see that well, <laughs> so we gonna have to roll with it. So after I'm done doing eyebrows, I would usually go into some kind of eyeshadow primer. So for most, the most part of the year I used concealer which I'm going to talk about later but recently I bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer one I mean recently maybe like two months ago which is really like the end of the year but um, it's the only eye primer I could talk to you about because all the other eye primers I see either at my job or like at Sephora they're always like translucent silicone primers and for me that just doesn't work because I need something that's gonna be opaque so that I can lay my shadow on top. And um, this is it, it's super light. Let me swatch it for you. I don't know if you see how thick that is. I have other swatches on my hand, excuse me. The thing is, this is super thick, so once you lay um, <laughs> once you lay your eyeshadow on top of it, it is so much, so much more powerful. It's what I'm using underneath most of my looks. All the looks you're seeing on my Instagram right now, this is what I've used on it, so it's really, really efficient. It works really well, and honestly, I know it's kind of pricey, but sometimes I'm gonna mix it with my concealer if I'm doing a more natural look. Like, honestly, a little bit goes a long way, as you can see, and so I strongly, strongly recommend that one. As I said, there are going to be a few honorable mentions that are going to be just, you know, thrown into the mix just for a little bit of fun. I'm not going to tell you why I like the product, only that I like the product because you don't want to be here till tomorrow, trust me. I have two palettes that have been my highlight for this year. I'm going to start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills X Jackie Ina palette, this palette right here. Nothing left to say, like, period. 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 <laughs> Ma'am. Ma'am, this is such an amazing, like, I'm just thinking about it. This is one of the best launches, heads down, of, um, you know, the year. You have a bunch of colors like Zam, you have Sponsored, you have Wigglies. Like, you have a bunch of colors like these, let me just... I don't know if you can see, you have a bunch of super bright, shimmery colors. And honestly, I have to agree, this is one of the best palette, hands down. And I'm not wearing it right now. Actually, I'm wearing the shade Trust Issue on my brow bone and the inner lower line. But I'm gonna plop a bunch of looks on the screen of me wearing this palette because it's absolutely amazing and it's out of this world insane. So, 
this a definite hit for this year and i'm so happy jackie went through so much success with this palette it was their number one palette in sephora for so long i don't know if it still is but it's honestly one of the greatest palettes it's about 60 canadian dollars and it's hands down one i would recommend to anyone this is so good so good Da, 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 da. Ooh. The next palette I've been liking really a lot this year is, oh my god, it's so dirty. The Morphe X James Charles palette. We've all seen this before. Like, if you haven't, go away, you bit. This is what the palette looks like. Hopefully it's not washed out. This is what the palette looks like. It's a 39 eyeshadow palette, and it has a lot of neutrals, a lot of colorful shades. And the reason why I like this one so much is that it's been like kind of my go-to rainbow palette if you know me if you've been following me on instagram which if you know honey boo boo you should you know that i absolutely love love doing rainbow love doing color and this has been one of the palettes that do have every single shade of the rainbow with a few variations of each shade which i do really 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 like and um you know this palette has a bunch of neutrals you can really do everything with that i remember that during the summer while i was doing prom makeup for a lot of girls i brought this palette and i did every single look they wanted me to do and i could do it because of this palette and it's actually amazing how like versatile it is and by the way i don't care about controversy like i don't i don't watch controversy i don't know that's a lie i do watch controversy but i just don't partake in it i'm not going to talk about it i'm talking about the product and as far as the product goes the palette is really really good and if you ever want to purchase it you can buy it they have the full size one that is 50 canadian dollars and then they have the mini size one, which I don't know how much it is, but if you have a lot of palettes like myself, maybe you could just get away with buying the mini size. Or if you like to travel and everything, but I bought this when it launched. So obviously, you know, I, uh, yeah, I used it. That's that. That's that on that, okay? Um, before we jump onto anything else, I'm gonna give an honorable mention to Miss Colourpop. She's a rainbow palette. This is wonderful. I, you can guess why I like this one. Um, yeah like i said for honorable mentions we're not explaining too much it's just i have two other honorable mentions for eyes this is the artist couture diamond lights finisher in the shade spotlight glitz these are basically eye little glitter toppers right or something, like things like that i'm gonna try to put it a little over the abh primer but i usually prefer to apply these with my finger or something like it's just it's insane it's this one right here it's literally the most insane pigments this one is kind of like pinky silvery and i love these amazing so then i have the lise watsi these are the glitter eyeliners i have five of them right now they have a holiday set with five colors which means this gold a silver an iridescent a, p a purple and a blue so i highly recommend if you live in canada go into a shopper's drug mart you know or like uh like any other drugstore that carries lise watsi and just boom go get it because these are actually great and it's not that expensive compared to like the Urban Decay glitter liners and it's basically the same thing. So, you know, we love a little glitter moment. Like I've been using this a lot. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can see, it's nice. I've always had primers. Now, did I ever believe in them 100%? I don't know, but this one made me believe that there is a holy grail of primers. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It's this one right here and this is insane it's so insane the texture is kind of it's a little sticky when you apply it's very liquidy it kind of gets a little sticky and i genuinely genuinely cannot imagine any more perfect primer it makes my skin feel soft it doesn't emphasize anything it just makes anything i put on top of it look amazing and it's honestly the most long lasting primer i have ever used in my life and honestly i could be a saleswoman only for this product that's how much i love it and how much of a difference i've seen with it for example the makeup i'm wearing right now it's not the freshest okay i got up at 5 a.m this morning and i did my makeup and i finished at i started my makeup at like 5 30 i finished my makeup at 7 and um so basically from 7 to 4 it's 4 right now so i've been wearing this makeup for nine hours i've been wearing this makeup for nine hours and let's be real let's be real no let's be really real this makeup looks amazing this primer is absolutely insane and i cannot believe that um 
I cannot believe that this never existed before. This is the best primer. Everyone go get it. If there's one item from this whole thing that you should buy, it's Milk Primer and um, Jackie XTBH Palette. The best, absolute best. And my favorite foundation of the year has been the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It's long lasting, it's hydrating, it's not cakey. The shade selection is insanely amazing. This foundation is just, it's just so good. It's just so good. We love her, we appreciate her. Um, it's an amazing texture. It doesn't make anybody I know react. This is literally everybody's favorite foundation. Like my boss loves this my friends they love this i love this like everybody loves this there's no flaw to this foundation and i genuinely believe that whoever you are out there you can like this foundation you can then for concealer i have the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer so this one is in the shade natural beige this one was in the shade sand and i love this concealer it's full coverage without being drying so when i put it under my eyes um, I don't bake under my eyes because that would be way, 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 way too dry. But I do love, love, love this concealer because sometimes I just put it on, I let it dry a little bit, and then when I blend it out, it's so smooth, so full coverage, but it's not cakey. It doesn't feel dry. And um, I love these two, these two together. They were great. They're my favorites. When I didn't use the ABH primer, I used to prime with this one mixed with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the white shade because I obviously wanted it to be lighter so it, you know, made my eyeshadows pop more. Honorable mention to these two products, the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation as well as the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer, like liquid concealer. These, whoo, they did They've been great. I hope you enjoyed them because I did. <laughs> this year, I had two favorite powders. The first one for my under eye being the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in the shade Banana. It's that one right here. And this is the one I use underneath of my eyes. I love this. It smells really good, but don't inhale it. Powder lungs are not cute, so please <laughs> do not inhale the powder. It does smell good when you apply the powder over your face. So um, yeah, it's a really, really nice one. I use it on all the high points of my face. It's smooth, it's a, it doesn't like blotch. It's, she's cute, she's real cute, we like her. For my all over face powder, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Light Medium Powder in the, it's the, in the shade Light Medium 20. This is so good for the face. I use this to set my primer. I use this to set my face. It's amazing, it's so soft. And for the price that it is, you guys, for the price, that it is it's so good this is 10.99 canadian but it often goes on sale for like 5.99 or like 6.99 so um get it on sale if you can you know she's cute <laughs> we like her for bronzer my favorite bronzer has been the fenty beauty bronzer in the shade it's the stalker bronzer in the shade caramel cutesy is this one right here is the one it's the bronzer i feel like is the most natural on me because the EBH one that I do adore, it's a little red, therefore it go, it does me better in the summer. When I wear this in the summer, I'm like, eh, bronze goddess, because you know I'm darker. But for the winter, for the whole year, sorry, this is the one I prefer because it's more neutral. It's warm, but it's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's just, it's perfect. It's like, it's perfecto. I'm a huge blush fan. There's nothing I love more than blush in this world, so I have. A few options. My favorite little peach blush is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in the shade Peachy Love right here. This is my favorite. I use it all the time when I do warm looks, sometimes when I just do like no eyeshadow. I love this. It has three shades. I do prefer these two over here, but I do like that one to neutralize it up all. This is amazing. I got this actually, it was on sale. Like I know it's not discontinued, but it was on sale and it's it's a great purchase! Ofra blush, Ofra X Madison Miller blush in the shade Sweet Stuff blush. I love this blush. I don't know why I like the shade so much, but I truly, truly just love it. And I actually got this in my Ipsy bag, so I didn't purchase it. Um, Ofra is expensive. Like, I don't know about you, but I never thought Ofra was this expensive. But it's so expensive. It's actually really good, and I really do love this shade. Um, I don't know why. It's my favorite, like, neutral it's not cool it's not warm it's not pink it's not peach it's not purple it's not too nude like it's it's like a nice pink but i really really actually do like it it's really pretty 
Then we are going to do an honorable mention to the ColourPop palette. This one I forgot what was the name of it. It's a palette I had to assemble myself. It's really beautiful. The shades of blush that I actually like are Rom-Com, I believe there's Main Chic, and excuse my French. So Rom-Com, Main Chic, excuse my French, my favorite shades in the palette. I kind of like her. She's pretty. She's real pretty. Um, I believe last year I already put Maybelline. So, you know, honorable mention to Maybelline Mask Chrome. But we're doing something else today. I'm pretty sure I did that last year. But all of the Artist Couture highlighters, all of them. I love every single Artist Couture highlighter I like. We're going to take, this is the Le Peach. It's the collaboration they had with Miss Jackie. Queen Jackie. And we're just going to, you know, we're just going to. I have so much highlighter on right now, like, because I was adding before just trying out something and just like, oh my god, do you see this? I sometimes use them on my eyes as like really pretty eyeshadows when I'm doing cut creases or halo cut creases or inner corner highlights. This insane. The second favorite highlight I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills X Amorizi highlighter. I unfortunately believe this is no longer on sale. And um, I'm genuinely sorry for mentioning it if it's not. It's just, it's such a beautiful, stunning, stunning eyeliner. I can't, it's so beautiful. It's the best thing ever. I'm just, it's insane. It's insane. Ofra does a lot of Ipsy like features. Like they put a lot of their products in Ipsy. This is the highlighter in the shade Rodeo Dry. This highlighter is beautiful. I was wearing it under the <laughs> Jackie Aina Le Peach that I applied. It's so, 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 um, wait, let me find some place on my hands to show you. It's really, really, really blinding. And I know that in my next Ipsy bag, I'm gonna get the one that Nikki Tutorials did, the one that's called Below Goals. And I genuinely cannot wait. Oh my god, is it dark out? It's dark out, darling. Setting spray is difficult for me to explain, so honorable mention to the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Multitasking Spray. This is my favorite setting spray of life. I have to buy another one because this one is empty. But um, for some reason, this just works really well. Every time I use it, my makeup lasts really long. Every time I use it with this, it's... We're gonna do favorite lip products. I'm gonna start with my favorite lip liner. It's the Annabelle. Um, lip liner in the shade 330 Espresso. It's basically like a dark brown liner. <laughs> it's nothing magical, but I love this here. I loved a deep brown liner just with a nude lip or like sometimes I would put like a pinky lip in the center. I just feel like it gives me like plump lips because you know she's not that gifted in the lip area. So this has been amazing, wonderful overlining. I love her. She's great. This is really good. Favorite lipstick of the year has been the Fenty Matte Moselle in the shade Single. Mama, if you single, single, you don't gotta be alone tonight. It's this little lip shade right here. It's like a nice peach, but it's not like too light of a peach. It's really, really, really beautiful when I use the lip liner. I love it. It's great. The, it stays for a long time. It's just, it's great. Single. Single. As far as liquid lipstick go, Fenty Stunna Lip Paints are amazing. I'm definitely getting more shades in 2020. This is uncensored and this is unattached. And I love these. I've worn these more times than I can even remember. And I just love them. This one is a little neon. So not for the faint of heart. This is a really classic red. If you want a red, I recommend getting that one because I've never seen anybody it looked bad on. Like, I haven't ever. So, um, yeah. I have all these glosses for Fenty and I love these all equally. They're beautiful, beautiful shades. The texture is very gel-like. It's It stays well. It's just, it looks so damn good. I love it. It's so Fenty, Fenty kills these lip glosses. That's why everybody loves them. It makes everybody's lips look good. It just, they have the best shades ever. Um, I have, what shades do I have? I have like the gloss balm in like Fenty Glow. I have Fussy, I have Confetti, I have Cheeky. I have, what's her name? I have Pretty Please and I have, oh my God, you need to stop. I have Hot Chocolate, like lit, I'm lit chocolate. My next favorite glosses, I discovered this month because I bought this NYX advent calendar, which was a lot of fun. 
I literally unbox these every day on my TikTok. So if you want to see that, just hop on my TikTok. I have it in the description box down below. But this right here, these lip glosses are insane. They're so beautiful. They're like really stunning nudie shades. And I genuinely love them. I have Angel Food Cake. I have, what's her name? Madeline. Madeline is my favorite. I have Praline, I have Tiramisu, and I just love these, and I had never tried like NYX Butter Lip Glosses, and honestly, I've been sleeping on them. So if, if you're one of the people like myself who have been sleeping on NYX Butter Glosses, wake up! These are amazing! They're so good. Three honorable mentions for lips. This is the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. I don't have many shades in this, but this is amazing. Y'all have a drill. Um, next is one of my favorite nude, like, liquid lipsticks. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi. The shade Abu Dhabi is right here. I love the texture of the Soft Matte Lip Creams. You guys, I'm not explaining these because we're going to be here for tomorrow. And then this is the Huda Beauty Demi Matte because I do have a few Huda Beauty mattes. And they're not bad per se, but they're not my favorite. So these, um, this one is in the shade Mogul. And I actually like really like this one. It's what I put on my arm right here. It's this one right here. Honorable mention to the NYX Shimmer Down Pigments. This is, this is honestly next level. Like, oh my God, do you see this? It's what I put on the edge right here. Do you see th this? This is insane. This is actually like insane. Like I don't even want to talk about it. NYX Shimmer Down Pigments, get you some. I'm gonna get myself more because I only have the platinum and this nude shade. Anyways, this was it guys. Whew, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, do not forget to give this video a little thumbs up. Comment in the comment section down below other things you'd like to see me do, you know, video suggestions and all that. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, such as Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Now, yes, you are right. If you like me, my personality, or the content I put right up on YouTube, then feel 100% free to subscribe to my channel, darling. It is your time to shine. Therefore, join. I am a gift to you. That was really pretentious. I'm sorry. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.